Liam, firstly, how disappointing was, was the, the crew game? Um, really disappointing. I mean, we didn't. We know ourselves. Um, no one's kidding themselves that we didn't start great. First 15 minutes, we're under the cosh. Um, then we've got the goal um, without really playing any any good. Um, so going into the second half, I'm thinking maybe it's, maybe it's going to be our day and then they've scored early in the second half. And obviously, you know, the, the second goal's a, a worldie, but um, everyone's disappointed. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's down to us to try and sort it out. We're obviously now in a, in a dogfight. It's still obviously very raw, but what do you think went wrong? What, why did it not go right? I say you went 1-0 up. It should have been a, a real spur, shouldn't it? I don't know. I just think I think we were flat flat throughout the whole 90 minutes. I think it just wasn't, it wasn't good enough at all. Um, like I say, we got the first goal. Um, it was probably against a runner play, and then, like, like it's happened a lot this season. We've we've conceded and we've we've just crumbled. The managers talked about fear among some of the less experienced players. It's, it's not. It might look like a poor attitude, but actually, what it is is just freezing in a big game. I think um, a lot of the players probably haven't experienced being in a, a relegation fight before, so it's probably new to them when when every game. Um, you're going to be under the cosh um, and obviously at the minute things things aren't going our way but like I said before it's, it's down to us to um, be brave roll our sleeves up and try and uh, get, get ourselves out of it Yeah, How do you make sure it's better on Sunday against Doncaster another massive game? I mean we've got to start a lot better better than we did um, last night I think um, we've got to try and take the game to Doncaster um, and if we do go one it up we've got to try and I try and hold on to. It's been a great year for Morecambe. Obviously, you you were part of the Wembley experience. There's been so many positives. How does it feel when you get booed off like you did last night after such a great year? To be fair, if I was if I was a punter or a fan, I probably I probably would have been booing us off as well because it just wasn't good enough. Um, and if we're not careful, we'll be as good as as good as the promotion was. I think we'll be we'll be looking at relegation again if we're not careful. Is there a bit of responsibility when you were part of that that effort, that real hard effort to get up, to explain to the lads who weren't here, look, this is the amount of work that went into getting into League One. Yeah. I think it's I think it's the whole team. I think me included, it's just we just haven't been good enough. Um, and I think when we when we look at training and stuff, we wouldn't see that we've got a team there that should be able to to compete in this league. Um, but at the minute, it's just not clicking. And we, like I said before, we just we're, we're in a relegation fight now. And we're, We've, we're the only ones that can fix that. So your message to the supporters will be back here on Sunday for the Doncaster game? Um, just continue getting behind us. and Obviously, I think they've, they've been brilliant. It's, it's, it's down to us as players to give them something to shout about.